Let's look at seven tools that are gonna help you build better games. First up is Token Stamp. It's really cool because it lets you take uh, any image that you have of a PC, NPC, anything you want really, and stamp it to create like a little miniature token of that thing. That's gonna get you a really nice uniform look across all your actors. For example, if you wanted to have all of your NPCs have like a circular silver border and all the PCs have a square border, you can do that. It's really easy to use and it'll save you a lot of time as opposed to like cropping things manually in a photo program. So check it out. Next up, we have tabletopaudio.com and that site is awesome for all sorts of ambient sounds or uh, musical tracks for your adventures. The guy who runs it, Tim, is a professional composer. So he's created different genres like fantasy and horror and sci-fi and just all sorts of things that you can sort and filter by. There's over like 300 tracks and they're all 10 minutes long. And you're looking at it almost like 52 hours worth of music and it's all free. That said, Tim also has a Patreon. So if you're getting a lot of good value out of the music, please consider supporting him. Now, if you're playing online using something like Discord, I recommend Avre. It's a bot that's owned by D&D Beyond that's now owned by Wizards of the Coast. But anyway, it allows you to do a ton of stuff with your game. It's got a dice roller that takes care of basically any kind of die that you would need. And it can roll with advantage, disadvantage. It can do crits. It can also read your character sheets from D&D Beyond or even Google Sheets. It'll also generate macros for things like saving throws and your attacks. It's got an initiative tracker, which takes care of things like HP, AC, everything your character would do within a combat round. All you have to do is invite it to your Discord server and give it some basic permissions. So it's really easy to take for a test run. If you're playing in person, on the other hand, and you want something really cool, check out Miguel Zavala's 3D models on Shapeways. Miguel has done like every single monster in the monster manual. I think he's way beyond that now. He's got something like 1400 different things that you can print from your own 3D printer. But again, it's all free, ready for you to use in your games. Or he runs a little shop where you can uh, order them already pre-assembled and pre-done. So if you've got the 3D printer or you just wanna pick up a couple of minis from him, he's gonna have what you need. Back online, we have a site called Dungeon. This site lets you uh, randomly generate things for your games. Dungeons or encounters or magic item lists, just a bunch of different things. And the coolest part is it's not even just for 5e. There's a ton of listed resources for Pathfinder, fourth edition, or just general fantasy stuff. It's a really cool way of making something up on the fly or just hitting the random button a few times to really get the creative juices flowing. The second last resource and the last free resource, the home brewery. It allows you to make gorgeous homebrew content that look exactly like the wizard sort of formatting from their titles to the pop-outs, numbered pages. And it's just a really nice looking tool if you're gonna be creating your own stuff from scratch. The last tool is Foundry Virtual Tabletop or Foundry VTT. And although it's not free, for just 50 bucks, you buy it once and you own it forever. You can then host it using some of the third-party services that they've partnered with, or you can just host your own from your machine and have other people connect to you. I think the biggest advantage of Foundry, aside from its low cost, is the fact that there's modules for everything. If there's a system that you want, or you just think to yourself like, oh, hey, I wonder if you can do that. You probably can. It's likely that someone's made what you're thinking of and made it available for you to download and install. Well, I hope you found this helpful. You can go through and see if any of these tools are for you. And if they are, I've left a description in the link below. I've left a link in the description below.